dual PSU setup, final safe version after video 1 and 2 mistakes. This video shows the final and correct version of my dual power supply setup. If you've seen video 1 and video 2, you already know I made some dangerous grounding mistakes early on. This version fixes all of, our, all of them safely, including, including proper earth grounding, stable voltage references, and improved AC wiring. A recap of uh, video 1. I wired two 12 volt power supplies in series to get 24 volts, but I used the upper PSU's negative as the system ground. The lower PSU's negative was not connected to earth. That made the ground in my system float plus 12 volts above earth. When I connected USB from my printer to my grounded PC, the 12 volt difference discharged through the USB. It fried the motherboard. Recap of video 2, safer but still not safe. I removed the earth connection from the upper PSU, which stopped the plus 12 volt float, but now the whole upper PSU was floating, including its case. That's unsafe because of internal class Y safety capacitors, Y caps, that leak small currents to the case. Without an earth reference, the case can build up voltage, cause electric shocks, or inject noise. So it didn't damage anything this time, but it wasn't safe for long-term use. Final and safe wiring setup, this video. DC side. The lower PSU's negative output is connected to earth ground, and uh, its case is grounded as usual. The upper PSU's negative output is connected to the plus 12V output of the lower PSU. This makes it float at plus 12V. The upper PSU's case is still grounded for safety, but its output is isolated from its chassis, as intended in a proper series stack. This gives a proper plus 24 volt output. No floating voltage on USB or signal lines. Safe earth reference for the entire system. AC input. Wiring safe and clean.
Originally, I used electrical tape to join the AC power lines feeding the two PSUs. That was messy, unsafe, prone to wear, and accidental shorts over time. Here's what I did to fix it properly. Removed all electrical tape from the AC wires. Connected both PSUs in parallel from a single AC wall socket. Live neutral and earth wires from both PSUs are joined together. I used proper soldered the connections for insulation and strength. First layer, individual heat, shrink tubing on each wire splice. Second layer, larger outer shrink tubing to group and reinforce the full cable section. This gives multiple layers of protection and long-term durability. Always check the current rating of your wall cable and plug. If your setup requires more current than one cable can safely carry, use two separate AC cables. Each PSU gets its own wall outlet or power cord. This avoids overheating and keeps things safe, especially under full load. Safety tests you must do before powering up your setup. Do the following checks with a voltmeter. Verify PSU ground reference. Measure between the PSU negative you plan to use as ground and a known grounded metal, like your PC case or grounded chassis. It should read 0 volts or close to 0 volts. If it reads plus 12 volts or any unexpected voltage, stop and fix the grounding first. Check chassis isolation on the upper PSU. With power off, use a continuity tester or ometer. Confirm that the negative output of the upper PSU is fully isolated from its chassis before connecting it to the uh, lower uh, PSU's plus uh, 12 volts. If there is continuity, do not wire it this way until the PSU is isolated. Ensure both PSU cases are grounded. This is critical for safety, especially because of internal Y capacitors that leak noise and voltage to, to the chassis. Never leave a PSU case floating. Why earth grounding still matters. Inside each PSU are class Y safety capacitors, Y caps. These are designed to leak high frequency noise from the AC side to the chassis ground. If the PSU case is not grounded, these caps can cause noise buildup, voltage, spikes, electric shock if you touch the case. That's why in the final setup, both PSU chassis are grounded. Only the upper PSU's output ground is floating. No dangerous or floating metal parts. Final setup summary. Lower PSU, 0 volts connected to earth. Upper PSU, 0 volts floats at plus 12 volts. Chassis grounded. Both PSU cases grounded properly. No floating grounds or USB shock risks. Safe layered heat shrink on AC input wiring. One wall socket shared only if cable can handle total current. Otherwise use separate AC cables per PSU. Thanks for watching. This is the final working solution after all the testing and troubleshooting shown in video 1 and video 2. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions, remarks, or improvements to share.